Alright, first we wanna open up Microsoft or yeah, Microsoft Visual Basic. Make a new EXE, push OK. Enlarge this up. Uh actually make it full screen. And we're gonna go over to the toolbar thing over here and go to components. Scroll down to Microsoft Internet Controls. Check it and push OK. Click on it. Leave a little bit of space in there up at the top and drag this all the way across here. Drag it. There we go. Fully across. Alright. And if you want to rename your thing, you can. I'll just name it Web Browser. Okay. Now we're gonna make a nice long text box here. All right. Maybe not really long, but long. So you can put this is where your um, URL is gonna go. Clear, clear the text out. All right. And um, make a label. Goes right to the left side of the text box. Put search. Search and destroy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, put it right there. And then make one button to this, to the right side of it. And I don't think we're going to go too advanced today. We're just... I'll make other tutorials on how to make an advanced web browser. Anyway, um... Now we are going to make a back button that will go back. Make two two more buttons, just two. One the same size. All right. And name the command 2 one back command 3 forward. Oops. All right. And, um, I guess if you want to get kind of not really advanced, but, um, click on the back right here. Just click it. Oh, no, we don't want that. Just click, click right here in the open area and go over here to back color and you can change the color. Like, you can make it black or you can make it red, whatever. I'm going to make mine pink. Pink. Pink is cool. All right. Now we are going to start the programming which isn't at all long so double click on your go button um... put web browser one dot navigate to text one dot text there is no equal sign or it will not work it will come up with an error thing Okay, now go over to your back button, double click on it, and then type in web browser one dot go back. Yeah, it ain't that hard, is it? Just go back. Go to your forward button, go to web browser, type in web browser one dot go forward. Alright. And uh um, we can make a refresh button, I guess. We can do that. Alright, make a little button. Type in refresh. Ah, uh, refreshing. Double click on that. Type in web browser. One dot refresh. And we're going to make one exit sign. So we can exit out of the program. This maybe so we don't. Nah, we don't need to actually. All right, and um, let's test her out here. Let's test this baby. Full screen it. All right, let's say we want to go to Google. www.google.com. Oh, we're at Google. Wow. Uh, now we want to go to YouTube. YouTube.com. Go. Look, we're at YouTube, but, oh, no, I want to go back to Google.
go over to here, your back button, and we're back at Google. Go over to your forward. Oh, we're we're at YouTube. Let's just type in some video. Um, I don't know, funny. All right, just type in a video. Go down. All right. Say we want to leave a comment. You go down, type in your comment, push refresh, and then you go down and comment. That's awesome. Alright, that's all for today. Um, I'm going to make some more advanced, advanced ones coming up. Um, and that's all. Alright. Thanks. Bye.